this for hours what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sasha lee and i'm back with another video so today guys i will be doing something a little bit different um like i said um in my updated update video i will be one of my videos will include me installing a wig now initially i said that i wanted to do it on a separate channel but when i really like sat and thoroughly thought it through i realized that this channel is still within its baby stages so i'm just gonna do every single creative idea that i have on this channel and then if i grow god's will and i grow i'll separate them all i'll do what i'll do is just to um get different like playlists and put them on so like if i did get up today and i decide that i wanted to bake in or cooking i have a playlist for cooking and if i have a play if i get up today and i decide that i want to do my nails i have a playlist for nails and if i get up today and i decide i want to try a hairstyle I have a play playlist for um for hairstyles so i bought a wig from sheen i've actually taken it out the box see i've already like cornered my hair let me show you guys see it's even i know it's not the best but that's what we're working with um and i did not like do the thing where you attach one up in the other camera because that is painful for me and i'm tender headed anyways uh, this is the box that it yeah this is the box that it came in um see i don't know if you guys can see it good but this is the box that it came in um like i said i already unboxed it because i actually intended on doing it last night so this is the wig um on a scale of 1 to 10 it smells it smells like like on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the worst or 10 and above being the worst it it, it has a nauseating smell like 100 percent so see i take off this little thing it came in a bag by the way never just come so 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 in a cap it came in a bag and it had some like clips with a foam thing in here and like stuff in in here but like yeah this is the wig full disclaimer i've never never worn a wig in my life in my life so this is what she looks like um and due to the fact that i've never worn a wig in my life I went out and I got a, um, what do you call it? A hot comb. One of the electric hot combs. I've gotten that. It's brand new, still in the packaging. Never seen one that small though. I, I'm used to like the normal size one. That is small. Um, but I got one of those. Here's the wig. I don't know how to like start. I don't know if I should wash it. Like if I should wash it in some, um, you know some dishwashing liquid or if i should wash it with like regular shampoo and conditioner i don't know really and truly i don't know uh but yeah this is the wig and i will be putting it on i also got me um i, I got me stocking it's like stocking caps it's two in a pack from the beauty supply store nothing nothing serious just a little town town and one of them is already stretched out because I like I said I, I intended on doing putting the wig on last night and I was even contemplating not doing it on camera like you know just to save me some embarrassment as you can see I use um eyeliner eyebrow pencil to like mark where my ear my hairline was because I was trying to figure out if it if it's a case where I have widow speak or you know if it's just the hair did one brush up I don't have a widow speak so that's that if my hairline looks uneven it's because it tear out argue with your mammy anywho so yeah since my hair is um already like cornrowed but now that i record the process of me cornering my hair because one tender headed two i'll never be looking in the camera i'm not that you know i'm not that talented to be looking into a camera while trying to corner my hair 
you know so yeah i'm going to change and change into something more comfortable and then i'll get back to you guys all right guys so i'm back um i know earlier i mentioned that i because it's my first time um installing a wig um with me along with me not knowing anything about installing a wig that i had gotten myself like a hot comb I also forgot, like, I literally remember this after I turned off the camera. I got some stuff from Amazon, uh, like this, an edge brush, another edge brush, this is a lace wig remover from somewhere. Uh, I got some edge control this is what it looks like hopefully you can see it um, there you go what else I got myself some lace tint because I might not know anything about installing wigs and I might have never installed one on myself before but I'm sure as hell never going to be plastered in my head with no, like with with makeup like i am not, and i'm not a makeup guru either but who me no no i'm not i will never be plastering my 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 stocking cap i will not like me not see how it makes sense and i don't know anything about wig don't come for me come for your mommy what i'm saying is to me that just look heavy and I'm not trying to experience it. You put up, you, you put on a, a cap that matches what is that's supposed to match or be in close range to your scalp, and then you plaster it with foundation or um or um what you call it or concealer. No, ma'am. Nope, not doing it. So that's a lace tint mousse, and that's what that is. I also got what's this? Uh hair wax stick so this is what it looks like i hope you guys can see it clearly um so here you go and then last is it last week no i got an x it's the okay so i think this is the adhesive i think this is what you put on I think this is what you put on this is the glue for the lace so this is called a lace wig adhesive extreme firm hold so this is what this looks like the other one the words seem to be rubbed off of it either that or liquid spill or something i don't know but this is what this looks like although based on my university which is youtube it looks like you can just use um rubbing alcohol to get the lace off um yeah and i also got these so these are supposed to hold down your um these are supposed to like i guess secure it or set i don't know melt the lace whatever when you put on the the glue and you put on the wig or you put on the whenever you finish put on the wig at this you use for, for, for melt the the, the 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 lace you guys know what i'm saying so this i don't see if you can't hold on my okay so it seemed to fit throw my head like a big just a check but i got two of these so i guess that's that's a plus for me so yeah i think i'm going to i think i'm going to end up washing the wig just because it smells horrendous like we know why not, my head never stink yet and i don't plan to start today like mm -mm. Mm -mm. so this is what it looks like let me see if i can try to put it on without like the the um the cap hold on Oh. 
Okay. So my hairline is right here. And I have to pull this down to here. So this is what I look like with it. Um I think I might have to do the, the cut thing that I said the girl is then do to cut off my the hair tabs. I look like much still, but this is what I look like, you know. I don't know if I should do like a center part. There's not much to work with because I think the track starts literally here. Like here. And this is all that's left. Um, I know I've seen a few people do um like plucking. Oh shit. Mm -mm, excuse my language. I've seen a few people do it like ooh. Ooh. As I was saying, I I've seen a few few people do like plucking. Might tell the truth that God love. I don't know about plucking. I've never tried it. This is gonna be a first, so Ugh. okay. I'm going to wash the wig. That's the final list. I'm gonna wash it. Um, I'm just going to I think I seen some I had seen some instructions in the box. So it says I'm supposed to It says for curly wigs, use a hand comb to prevent tangles. So use your hand, not a comb. And then it says how to care for it. Gently run the wig under cold water. Use gentle shampoo to thoroughly clean. Then apply conditioner. Rinse, rinse wig thoroughly, towel dry. Apply desired amount of mousse onto hair. Work into hair until even distributed from root to tip. Now, I must say, I thought that installing a wig was going to be like a simple one too, but it is just as time consuming as if you're caring for your own hair. Well, I beg to differ because if, I sham if I'm to shampoo my hair, I have to see to that all of the shampoo, like when it's time for it to wash out, I have to see to that all the shampoo is actually out before I can put conditioner in it or it's like, it's a big fusion going this out. And they do not mesh so yeah i'm going to take you guys along with me to um go wash all this so i got shampoo and conditioner and i'll be using those i don't have a wig specific or wig shampoo i have regular shampoo and conditioner and that's what i'll be using so come with me guys all right guys so now I'm going to be washing the wig. This is how it looks one more time for you guys. This is how it looks. So now I'm going to like rinse it, submerge into cold water. So that's what I'm about to do. It shed in the Shed your life delicious. It's not that bad, but it's a shed. Kind of annoying. Wait, this is not cold water. This is cold water. Yeah, it's actually dirty, guys. Because it, the water looks brown. Is that a good sign? Like I said, regular shampoo, nothing too serious, so I like a ton down. And yes, this is what I used to wash my hair. So this is the amount that I'm using. And then I'm gonna pick this hair up by the lace in the time and then I'm gonna I'm just going to rub it like that. I'm not gonna do too much with it because it's not the ear from my head. Um so Hopefully, 
it get rid of the horrible smell that it has so yeah this is what i'm doing like it really has a smell shedding is not that bad it's almost like um it's almost like dead hair um, i don't have a mannequin by the way so if i do end up attempting to um attempt attempting to pluck it um i'll probably just be doing it off the back of my hand like putting my hand under it under it like this and just like and then like i said i went to university for this so hopefully like i wish i could show you guys the water right now like to show you that i'm not joking the water is actually like eh. It's dirty. And I think I'm not going to keep this off. I'm going to let it go. It smells like chemical. That's what it smells like chemical. Then for how it dries, I don't think I'll be able it not won't be drying for 24 hours because tomorrow I will not be doing this. Oh and by the way guys, I did a whole video um on like the process of me taking down the, the braids I had in before and like it was supposed like my hair this week was supposed to be on my head from last week from last week but like and I hadn't, I didn't have the, um, I didn't have the, the hot comb just yet. And I was like, I wanted, I wanted to have it for when I'm making this video. So, yeah. And besides, I think it's a good, upper, um, it gives my hair time, like, with me putting this wig on. I don't know how long I'm going to have it on, because I've heard people that, like, first time are people that don't wear wig often, that has had it before. They said they don't like to feel, they don't like when their hair is restricted, like they would have prefer, they prefer like braids. So I don't know if that's going to be the experience for me, but hopefully it gives my, nevertheless it will give my hair, my scalp a chance to like breathe from all the like the tension of having it braided or even having to like touch the hair. Okay, so now I can definitely see where it's starting to shed. I think this one shampoo one more time, because the water still grown when I come out of it. And it still have the horrendous smell there. Why does my lip look like... I'm going to do one more shampoo in. That is because... The smell is smelling. I don't find that fun at all. At all. Okay, I'm gonna. It looks like the curls are like water activated because y'all seen how it looked when I put it on my head, and it was not. Let me rub the knees, so even though it's a little bit cut off, let me rub it. It was not this curly. So, yeah, this smell a lot better. Can I have my head smelling like, yeah, it might definitely need it like, what? Shout out to all the wig girlies, cuz this is really and truly a process. And when it's dry, I'm going to show that I'm going to turn it inside out and show you guys that it didn't it really doesn't come with a lot of lot of space for like plucking where even if I made a mistake there would like be room for like you know fixing fixtures. This water is really brown. Yeah, Alright, 
guys. So we're gonna finish wash this out and then when the, when the time for conditioning, we get back we get back to you guys. So, one sec.